Hey there, Internet. Today, I'd like to show you a project that I've been working on for two years that I finally got around to getting functional. Um, so I bought this lathe. Uh, you can see I, it's so crappy I didn't even bother to put the plate up back on in the right orientation. I've had all kinds of problems with this lathe. The main problem is the, uh, the change gears. Um, because this is a larger bore, this is a, like a one point, it's like a, I don't know, it's huge. It's almost two inches. So it's this big bore and the, the main gear, um, is a 54 tooth gear, but the change gears that they give you with this lathe, they, I don't think they're made for this lathe and the banjo, um, actually the banjo actually won't fit certain gear combinations because it's not the right length. So, um, number one, it's a pain to change the change gears. So I figured why not, you know, automate the thing. I mean, we have this technology stuff. Let's use it. Microcontrollers are cheap. And so what I'm using here is I'm using an ESP32. This is a, I believe this is a Lowland 32 which has a little OLED screen, um, but it doesn't have that many pins. And I've got some buttons set up, so I've got a, a button to feed left and right and do some menu selection and some other things. Um, these wires here are connected to an encoder. Um, this encoder um, is a 56 tooth modulus one gear that, that matches this. And then down here, I have a closed loop uh, stepper motor driver and I've made temporarily I've made some pulleys uh, with my SLA printer and these are 30 tooth GT3 pulleys um, and then over here I've got a 24 volt power supply the closed loop stepper motor controller and that's my setup so um, you know obviously this is temporary obviously this is temporary um, I don't really like the buttons very much. What I really like is a nice switch, like something that's got some good positive contact to it. So I'm planning on making one of those. Um, I'm really not sure how what the right interface is for the buttons. I've seen a bunch of people use Nexteon controllers, uh, which give you a touchscreen interface, but that has its own issues. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attempt to make my first cut in aluminum using the, uh, the controller. And... Um, We'll see how it works. All right, I'm going to take a slower pass. A little more spindle speed, same depth of cut. And I'm not going to run back over the other way. That looks good. Perfect. So it's not, it, it's definitely stops feeding when the spindle's not doing anything. And it is feeding by hand, which is cool. That's nice. I think that's much closer to the finish I'd actually be looking for. It's still a little, it's still a little rough, but it's a lot better than I could do feeding it by hand. I'll tell you that. So that's just generic steel. Um, I'm going to tweak some parameters. Uh, I obviously don't have. Uh, I don't have the. Um, um, I don't have the the ratio just uh, quite right as as you could tell from the previous test where I tried to do a one millimeter pitch, but uh, you know I mean this I don't know if you can really tell 
but that's what I was getting. That's the kind of result I was getting. And this is what it looks like with the electronic lead screw. And then the aluminum looks absolutely amazing. Um, but I didn't really even mess with this too much. It just cut really nice right out of the, with the whatever setting I picked. So that's my electronic lead screw. I'm going to add some more features. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And thanks for watching. Here I am set up on the lathe. And um, I'm going to try, uh, I'm not sure what feed rate to try. I'm going to try 0.2 millimeters per revolution. So uh, I'll just, uh, I might not, you might not be able to hear me talking. I might have to overdub this, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, spinning. Increase the feed rate a little more. It's working well. Okay, just touch off. All right, there's my touch off. All right, here we go. Kind of slow. It's also not cutting. Spring pass. I like that a lot. Can't really feel anything with my nail. So I would say that is a big winner. So the, the next step of the project really is to, um, I want to have it feed to a stop, uh, a virtual stop or an actual stop. Um, and then I want to be able to feed between stops. Um, and then I'm going to work on the actual threading functionality. So this should give me one millimeter um, this should give me a one millimeter pitch. Okay, I'm gonna try a piece of steel. This is uh, some mystery metal. I don't really know what it is. It's probably a A36 mild steel. Um, but I'm not really sure. All right, let's let her rip. Oh, it's not cutting. Okay. 
and it feels real rough. Feels a little better where I put the cutting oil. I go a little faster. 